Welcome pre-cal students to class today on this Thursday, November 12th. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're ready to learn some math today. Let's go ahead and get started with uh, the announcements for today. Uh, test tomorrow. We'll talk about that later. So understand we have a test tomorrow. Um, turn in the graphing problems that you were able to finish. Remember, if you did not finish those, that is fine. Um, whatever you turn in, you will get a 100 for. <coughs> so be sure and turn those in. Incomplete. On the incomplete students, don't forget if you miss a day of class, um, you must go to teachem.com um, slash, I forgot the slash there, slash Bri and pre -cow, okay? So if you come into class and we're taking a test or a quiz, you will have to take that test or quiz, okay? It is your job to watch that video when you miss a day of class, okay? Okay, for the incompletes, um, let's take a look at these real quick. Um, all of these must be turned in by Friday or they will become zeros, okay? So the assignment from last Thursday right here, um, Joel, you owe me that. Uh, test corrections from last Thursday, Joel, you owe me that. Um, and the assignment from last Friday, um, J Gus and Joel, you owe me that. So turn that in by Friday, guys, or they will turn into uh, permanent zeros, okay? So keep that in mind, please. Uh, moving on. The schedule for today is notes on properties of logarithms. Uh, the schedule today, students, will be notes on properties of logarithms. So we're going to take notes today. The video is about 36 minutes long, and it is packed full of important information about logarithms. Uh, stuff that you really need to know as we move deeper into our studies of logarithms. So please take good notes and please listen well, okay? Really, really important. Um, the instructional video for today is properties of logarithms. Properties of logarithms, okay? So make note of that. Let's talk about the test now for tomorrow so there's no confusion as to what will be on the test. For example, what you're probably wondering, is the information on the video today going to be on the test tomorrow? So let's talk about all of that now, okay? Here we go. Okay, you should be able to type problems into your calculators and solve them. And they're, they're uh, problems like page 474, 1 through 8, and 43 through 50. Okay, they're pretty easy. Um, exponential and natural uh, natural base E problems. So make sure you look at problems like these. Okay, make note of that. And my, uh, hold on one second. My mouse has frozen up. There we go. Okay, continuing on. Um, you should be able to graph exponential and logarithmic functions. Okay. So make sure you can graph those. Um, you should be able to, um, oh, and by the way, graphing the logarithmic functions, don't forget, I will probably ask you what the domain is, uh, what the x-intercept is, um, what the vertical asymptote is, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you know how to graph those really, really well. Probably exponential word problems worry me the most. We did those on Friday. And the assignment for that was, if you want to make note of this, um, let me type this in real quick for you guys. My mouse keeps messing up here. Hold on. Um, page 464. And this was last Friday, okay? 67, 85 through 101. Odd. Uh, skipping 95 and 99. So quickly make, when I go to the next page here in a second like this, those are going to disappear, okay? So quickly copy, quickly copy that down, make note of that. When I say exponential word problems, I'm talking about these right here, okay? And they worry me the most, so make sure you really study those for your test on tomorrow. And continuing on, we're gonna you you must not solve logarithms with and without a calculator, okay? With and without a calculator, okay? Um, now here's how we're gonna handle. So, anyways, this is all the information for your test right here, okay? This is it. Very small, very small test, very short test. So please study and make sure you're ready for it. Now, here is how we're gonna handle today's information. Listen to me carefully, okay? Um, Anything in today's notes will not be on your test tomorrow. It will not be. And notice you have no homework tonight. All you have to do is study for your test, okay? So when will you do homework over the information I've given you? 
Well, you're going to do that homework over the weekend. So on Friday, when you're done with your test, I will give you the homework assignment, and you'll do that over the weekend. It'll be due on Monday. Okay? So I'm trying to I'm trying to save time since we lost a day this week and still cover information today, but not put it on tomorrow's test. Okay, remember, there's no review sheet. <clears throat> there's no review sheet for you to turn in. I'm just going to give five bonus points to everyone. So the information from today will not be on your test tomorrow, and I will give you homework tomorrow when the class period is over to do over the weekend, and that homework will be due on Monday. Okay, that's it, guys. Have a good day. Contact me. If you have any questions at all, please study really well for your test tomorrow.